Facts First presents Man Rescues Bizarre Creature from a Sidewalk Not Knowing What It Would Grow to Be Jeff Long was walking home to his Florida home in the intense summer heat. While he was walking, he saw something strange on the sidewalk. It was a tiny ball of fluff. He rescued this bizarre creature from a sidewalk, but he had no idea what it would grow into. When Jeff saw the little ball of fluff on the ground, he knew that if he left it there, it would die for sure. Either it would develop hyperthermia due to the heat and it would die, or someone would stomp on it and it would still die. He decided to nurse the creature back to health, even though he had no idea what it would grow to be. Before we continue with this bizarre story, do you like our bizarre videos? If so, click that like button and be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss our future videos. When he got this little fur ball home, it was already close to death. While he didn't have any experience raising and rescuing animals, he wanted to try and care for the animal, even if he had no clue. He decided to reach out to the Reddit community to try and get some answers. He named the little creature who was only just over an inch long Biscuits. When he reached out to the Reddit community, he didn't get the response he was hoping for. Most of the responses were from people telling him that he wouldn't be able to care for Biscuits on his own since he had no experience. Jeff refused to listen to these comments, though, and he stuck with the comments that were helpful. After talking to some supportive Reddit users and doing some independent research on his own, he found the answer that he was looking for. Turned out that Biscuits was a flying squirrel. Typically, flying squirrels live in the forest, and the trees are their natural habitat. They spend their day gliding from tree to tree. They also live off of a diet of nuts, seeds, fruits, insects, birds, and eggs. Since Biscuits was so small when Jeff found him, he wasn't ready for those types of foods. He gave the tiny creature the nutrients he needed by feeding him a combination of soft puppy food and heavy cream. Jeff had to do more for Biscuits than just feed him and nurse him back to health. He also had to fill Biscuit's mom's shoes. He found out the flying squirrels are nocturnal creatures and they often stay with their mothers until they're at least two months old. Jeff estimated that Biscuit's was only a few days old when he found him, so he had his work cut out for him for quite a while. For two months, Jeff took Biscuit's with him everywhere he went. He even took him to work because he had to keep up with the little guy's feeding schedule. Biscuit's continued to thrive and he was on his way to becoming a healthy adult squirrel. Not only did he bond with Jeff, he also bonded with Jeff's dogs. Since the dogs were much larger than Biscuits, they were very careful not to accidentally stomp on him and squish him. Unfortunately, Biscuits never had a chance to learn how to live in the wild. He's always been hand-fed, and he had no fear of people or animals, which is not a good thing if you're in the wild. That would make it impossible for Jeff to release Biscuits to the wild. Jeff says that he's tried to give Biscuits a happy home. He jumps on the furniture, the dogs, and even on Jeff. He says that when Biscuits gets excited, he starts to chirp, too. When Biscuits first started becoming mobile, Jeff had a scare. When he woke up, he couldn't find the little guy. Eventually, he did find him, hanging out in the bathroom. As Biscuits got older, Jeff bought him a large cage. He also has semi-free reign of the home as long as Jeff is home to supervise. When Biscuits is free to roam the house, he either spends his time jumping and playing, hanging out in the hammock that Jeff bought him, or in Jeff's shirt pocket. While doing research, Jeff found out that Biscuits could live for over a decade in captivity. When Biscuits was healthy, Jeff started posting photos of the little guy on Reddit to prove his doubters wrong. He posted photos of Biscuits' recovery and even photos of him playing with his toys. Jeff wanted to show off his parenting skills to those who said that it was not possible for him to do this. He wanted to throw it in the face of those naysayers who told him that he wasn't an animal rehabilitator and shouldn't take on the responsibility of caring for such a weak animal. Biscuits is now three months old and he's happy. His favorite food is pecans and loves to jump on everything. Biscuits is no longer an animal Jeff is trying to save. He's now a very important and loved member of the family. Subscribe for more!